What's up, everybody? I'm DJ Sixsmith. Welcome to Sit Down. Sarinda Swan, Roger Cross here with us. Corner, coming to America on CW. How you both doing? Wonderful. Fantastic. Thanks for having us. Yeah. Got it. Sarinda, why don't we start with you, Dr. Jenny Cooper. A lot of different layers to her. What has this experience been like for you so far? It's been amazing. Um, one, it's been really wonderful to be able to come home to Canada to be able to shoot this and shoot it with other amazing Canadians. And, and I think that was something that I've always wanted to do was to come home and do a show that represents Canada and all its diversity and just sort of its beauty. Um, and then, so I picked a really dark show about death and I was like, these two put together perfectly. Let's do Canada and death. Um, but I, I, I've been following um, our creator, Warren Brebner, for many years, and Adrian Mitchell, and I just thought their work was phenomenal, and I knew they cast awesome people. I don't know where he is on the screen. On my side, he's on this side. So if I do this, yeah. I'm pointing to Roger. Um, <laughs> and I knew they would, they would fill the cast with other incredible Canadians, and, and I just, uh, I, yeah, it was really exciting, because this character is very, um, she's very multifaceted. She's kind of funny and quirky and like this weird nerd and then on the other side she's got tons of conviction she's really strong and she kind of goes between each because she's had this trauma at the beginning of our first season that changes up her life entirely and she's slowly becoming unwound and the beauty that's being shown and you know the the crazy that's in there which i love and she's harnessing that crazy and she's just like i can do all not necessarily always very well, which she will have to attest to, but it's sort of this unraveling of this woman with this beautiful son and this crazy new job and dealing with mental health issues like anxiety and panic attacks and going to her therapist. And it's just a, it's, I saw the script and I was like, yeah, I'm going to do that. That sounds like what I want to do. Let's, let's go to Canada and go over there. So it's been, it's been a real joy and it's been amazing to, to work with the casting crew. Yeah, Dr. Cooper, really a three-dimensional woman when it comes to all the different aspects of her. And Roger, for you, with Detective McAvoy, I mean, there's certainly a lot going on with him. What was the biggest draw in terms of you jumping in on the show? You know, it, it was, you know, at speaking to them, actually, it, because I read the, the, the um, they sent me episode five, and it was an amazingly beautiful story that, you know, he goes back to his roots, and he has to talk about, you know, he has to deal with some issues that he thought were past, that come back to haunt him and he's like oh my god if i'd done the right thing back then i would have been able to correct these things before it got to this point and it's, it's just the complexity and the the humanity of, of these characters that just kind of made me go you know this is incredible work this is incredible this is incredible stories I, you know i'd love to be a part of it and so i'm glad we were able to you know figure it all out and um because i was on a different show at the time and so we had to sort some stuff and then it just all worked out beautifully and so, as she said, you know, these characters, they have their jobs. And the story, this show is called Corner. It's about a corner. But it's more about the human beings behind it yeah. and how despite whatever's going on in their daily lives. And, you know, Donovan has some, you know, terrible relationships that he has to deal with, but he's still strong and he goes ahead and does it. He has, you know, issues with family things and all these things that he has oh, to deal with. Right yet, you know, yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah, you know what I mean? Going on then he has to show up you know what i mean yeah you have to show up and do your job and so i think people can relate to that you're able to uh, deal with stuff at home and then all of a sudden come here and just go hey how are you i'm ready to do my job or be excellent at your job but you lack other in other aspects of your life and so that that's that's what's been great about this show being able to show all these different facets of these characters in their life and it's 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 fun it's great work yeah, I think that's really fascinating and also really universal. And Sorinda, let's have you jump back in here. What was the biggest challenge of playing Dr. Cooper? Because like you said, a lot going on in her personal life, trying to figure things out professionally. What really pushed you with this role? Um, I think the biggest challenge was wanting to make sure that I represented the character that was in the books because it's based off of a best-selling UK book series by M.R. Hall and it's seven books. So it's not like this is a character that has existed in some small capacity. Like she is well founded and people love this character and and so it was really important to me to be able to make sure that I had her little idiosyncrasies and things like that inside of her but then we changed her age we changed where she lived we changed so many things about her but to make sure that I had her soul and her essence um, and so that's why it was important for me to do things like go and see an autopsy or to really sit with people who have that um specific experiences that she has with anxiety and figuring out exactly like with hers, hers is a suppressed fear and suppressed knowledge. So as it comes up, it feels like you're drowning. So watching as she starts to get anxious, 
her head goes up and she gets a little like she pops her ears and things and so for me it was it's it's a lot of the time on on television it's black or white so it's like she's totally fine or she's losing her mind and there's never the ramp and so for me it was like how do i show that how do i show anxiety in all of its forms how do i show the ability to be able to um i always say she's cracked she's not broken like she'll have a crack and then she slowly like fixes it again she's like oh what was that and so it's this beautiful woman who's just trying to figure out her life she cuts off all of her hair and she does it in this weird like utilitarian way and i remember being like oh it's gonna be a fight with the creators because like one side is shorter than the other because i just pictured her like cutting it all off and they were like no and go for it so there wasn't there was really not much pushback at all when it came to the creation of the character which is they're, they're great yeah they're very supportive they're amazing for that but it was just getting i just wanted to get her right i wanted to i wanted to this is the first character for me that i really felt like an artist rather than a commodity and that was something that I, I really leaned into and is also terrifying because you're just like, ah, oh, I'm allowed to have facial twitches and like do weird stuff on camera and all that. So it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's been a challenge that's been really rewarding for me. I think it's great you got the runway to explore all that. Yeah. And Roger, for you, when you think about all the different TV shows and movies you've done, what makes this one a little bit different? What really separates this one from the rest? You know, it's the great people you have to work with, honestly. I, at the end of the day, you know, I've done it for a long time. And, you know, you, you want to look forward to going to work. You want to look forward to being uh, collaborative and all that. And they, have, they afford us that, you know, privilege. And we get together and we can discuss anything about the script. And we can say, well, yeah. how, how, what, what if we did this? And they, they welcome all our ideas. And so it, it's this great, just a collaborative thing, very artistic endeavor. Yet, of course, it's, you know, very technical, but we make sure we cover all the bases. We get to talk to professionals. We have great consultants. We get everything we need to play these characters and portray them. And it, it's, it's just, it's, it's great to go to work and, and do that and have that freedom without, you know, thinking, oh, 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 I better not do that. Oh God, they're not gonna listen to me about this. So blah, blah, blah. No, they're, they're wonderful. We talk things out and we get it right. We try to. We try to. We try to. <laughs> I exactly. know. Oh, I you do, right? My team lets Probably me know. They're like, let's do another one. I'm like, okay, <laughs> yeah. that's the weird thing I did didn't work. Fine. But I get to try it, it at least. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. It might not work the way it is, but you know, hey. <laughs> yeah, we get to try. That's the beauty of TV. And speaking of TV, the industry is in a really interesting spot right now. Obviously, yeah. all the different streamers, but even this show, like it was supposed to be on in the fall, it gets bumped up here in the summer. Sarinda, for you, what is most intriguing about the TV industry right now? Because it's like, you do this show, you've done Ballers before, you hop on an episode of Twilight Zone, which was cool. Like, what piques your interest most about the way things are going right now? Um, we, we have no idea what's happening or what's going to happen. <laughs> I think the, um, yeah, the inability to be able to find stability is a really interesting place to be. Um, I am excited to see how we move through this adversity, how we figure out to learn from it, I think both within um, the Black Lives Matter movement, but also within COVID for us not to just get over it, but to us, for us to move through it and be changed by it um, and to implement changes based on um, real decisions and real, um, real change. And so I think within television, we have such a quick turnaround rate. So like our team can be writing a script right now for our third season and something can happen in the world and they can switch and change it. Um, and that's something that's amazing is we have sort of this very quick feedback loop. Um, and without with movies, it's a lot harder to do that because you've already written the full script, you've done all that. There's a bit more thinking on your toes. Um, and so I, I love that capacity. I think, yeah, it's been interesting to go from Ballers, where I was working with another DJ, to Marvel, where they shaved my head, and then straight into Canada. And I know my team freaked out a little bit to be like, are you sure you want to just go off to Canada? Like, what are you doing? But it's this sort of specificity that I was talking about, about this real human story um, that really excites me. And I hope that we start to see more of those on television. I hope we start to tell the small stories, because there's a lot of small stories happening around us with really big messages. And I think the more diverse stories that we talk about, I think the more specific that we get, the more beautiful and more um, understanding we'll see this world. Um, so yeah, so I'm excited for what comes out of television. When, how, no idea, no idea. <laughs> <laughs> 
I like that you were just willing to go for it. It's like, if you need me to shave my head, I'm going to do it. Like, <laughs> my team, like, we're going to be all right here. We'll figure but, it out. These, these yeah. are extensions. My hair is, my hair's that long. You guys can't even see it. My <laughs> this is not, this is for another project. This isn't real. I'm like, but that's the fun of, that's the fun of being on television is that you get to go in and be like, who am I next? And right. now I'm a mermaid. <laughs> Roger, how about for you? I mean, going back to the days of 24, like the TV landscape is tremendously different. What has been the key for you and being consistent all these years? I tell you, I'm just you know, keep working, keep working hard and, you know, and have a passion for what you do. But I think we're kind of in a golden age of television, actually, because if you look at, you know, the standards been raised from like Game of Thrones to what you're able to do, you know, when from 24 was, you know, another thing I stepped up the bar back in the day. And now you have all these other things and you have all these different avenues for people to see things and see very specific things and to see stories that they weren't allowed to tell back in the day like to tell the story of a coroner who's also had you know um who's on pills and trying to deal with this messed up personal life and then be professional it's something that you wouldn't have been able to put on television maybe you know 20, 15 20 years ago wow. now you can and you can tell these stories and they're relatable for the audience watching or this detective who uh, you know has a messed up past and this and that who, who you know can go to work and do his thing and have different these great interpersonal relationships and these yeah. great stories that you're allowed to tell and as she said we can change things and that's that's one thing that that i love you're able to alter things and they've already altered some things for you know the upcoming season that they've sent us the new yeah. scripts and but you know but things will have changed or obviously we'll be filming in a different way and we'll be what filming in a bubble that? and <laughs> You know, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be intriguing, but I think that the the joy of it is, there's so many different stories that are allowed to be told that will be told, and so the television is I think in a, in a great great place. You don't like said, extensions too, right? That's you've got your extensions in. I get, yeah, <laughs> yeah, they're really tiny extensions. <laughs> 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 I want to see you in long hair so badly. Oh, we'll, my God. We'll have to put you, because we, we're about to go back and start shooting our next season. Yeah. We're on set. I'm so going to make you put on a wig. Oh, my God. I'm going to show up with cornrows and see what they say. No. Let's, uh, let's make it happen. Come on. <laughs> hey, Sarinda, Roger, thanks a lot. Looking forward to the U.S. Okay. premiere of Corner August 5th. Talk to you both down the road. Stay healthy and be well, Absolutely. right? Thank you, DJ.